Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over adding and subtracting decimals. So let's get started. The key to adding and subtracting decimals is lining up the decimal point. So we have 16 and 75 hundredths plus 5 and 91 thousandths. So I'm going to rewrite it. And here's the decimal point. And I'm going to rewrite the 5. And notice how I line up the decimal point. Now, this looks kind of strange, so we can add a placeholder, a zero, as long as it's to the right of the decimal. So now all we do is just add. So zero plus one is one, five plus nine is 14. Let's carry the 10 over. Seven plus zero is seven, and you add the one. So now we have eight. Bring down the decimal. Uh, 6 plus 5 is 11. And then we're going to bring the tenths over here. So we have 1 plus 1 is 2. 21 and 841 thousandths. Let's work another one. Okay, let's repeat the same process. I'm going to rewrite. Remember the key is putting the decimal, lining up the decimal points. I'm going to rewrite the 3. I'm going to line up the decimal point. Okay, and I'm going to place two placeholder zeros. Okay, not a very straight line. Now I just add. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 0 is 1. So far, that's pretty easy. Bring down the decimal point. 9 plus 3 is 12. So I'm going to bring a 10 over here. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay? So in summary, in addition, you just line up the decimal points. You can add zeros to the right and then just add. Now let's work on some subtraction. Okay, but before subtraction, make sure I pronounce this properly. It's 32 and 168 thousandths. So now we have some subtraction. Okay, let's work on subtraction. And the very same thing uh, applies. Uh, however... When you look at the 90, you may say, well, where's the decimal point? When you don't see a decimal point, you can assume it's to the far right. So it would be right there. So let's, we have 90, and let's write the decimal point, and then we're going to line up the decimal point for 6.2. We're subtracting this time, and we're going to add another zero placeholder. So now all we do is subtract. Now, uh, remember, zero is smaller than 2, so we've got to add, excuse me, we've got to borrow 10 from the number to the left. However, the number to the left is smaller than the 6. So we've got to first, uh, it's got to first borrow a 10 from this 9. So this 9 is going to become an 8. And then this will be a 10. So it's going to borrow 10 from the 10. So it's going to become a 9. Okay, I know that's a little confusing. Remember, the 0 is smaller than 2. So it's going to borrow 10 from the number to the left. But before it can do that, it has to borrow from the left. So now let's just subtract, okay? Uh, 10 minus 2 is 8. Bring down the decimal point, okay? 9 minus 6 is 3. And then 8 minus 0 is 8. So we have 83.8. But you do not pronounce it as 83.8. That would be 83 and 8 tenths. Okay, let's work another one, and I will go through how we're, we borrowed from numbers to the left one more time. So let's work on our next problem. Okay, we have the same thing again. I'm going to write 49, and remember the decimals here. I'm now going to bring this, and I'm going to line up the decimals. Okay. I'm going to write some placeholders, and now I'm just going to subtract, okay? Now, we have this problem again. Zero is smaller than three, so it needs to borrow 10, but this zero is smaller than eight, so it's got to borrow 10 from here. So this is going to become an eight, and then this will become a 10. So now let's start borrowing, okay? It's going to borrow uh, 10 from this 10, so it's going to become a nine, so I'm going to actually rewrite this this time. So we have 
and then we have seven and three. So here's what it looks like when I rewrite this. I thought that was a little messy. Uh, now we just subtract zero minus, uh, actually it's a 10 because remember it borrowed it. So it's going to be seven. This will be one. Bring down the decimal point. Eight minus seven is one. And that is, so we have 41 and 17 hundredths. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.